minutes after after we spoke and uh, it went chaotic um police locked tigers then uh, attempts by as in Israel or Tinka to address the to, to to make his speech of course was interrupted so now we are en route uh, we are currently heading to city stadium and i believe uh, we should be either headed to jacaranda or heading back to the city center but the plan was to go and then you know mop up the crowd and then come back again and uh, can see that it's it's really it's a really charged uh, charged event wider so, so let me get this right. So the press briefing was supposed to happen first, you know, within the hotel and then later on, I think you had set up outside. Just for those who just joined us now and may have no idea what's been happening, what, what was happening? Yes, the briefing was to be at Serena Hotel, but had not been indicated whether it was inside the hotel or outside. But uh, either way, because uh, the hotel was not uh, allowing fast uh, uh, entry, because there were also so many of the supporters that had come out there and were also trying to gain entry. And you remember there was an incident where there, were, there was a confrontation and some arrests were made. Uh, well, the people that were arrested were released. But then journalists decided to set camp uh, outside the hotel. As soon as they were done with the meeting, Raila Odinga, uh, accompanied by a host of Azimio leaders, uh, mean, uh, to came outside and journalists were taking pictures. And then uh, was that attempt to, to make an address? Then, uh, then tear gas, uh, the police uh, locked tear gas because also the crowd was gathering and they were also attempting to go down Valley Road, Chikenyata Avenue, towards uh, the CBD. Um, so tear gas was lobbed and the water cannons were, were let out. So a number of uh, journalists and even the, the politicians have been caught in that melee. Um, now we are actually entering uh, the route going into Jacaranda. So we should be able to give you further details, but that's what transpired. Uh, Odinga attempted to even speak and even continue speaking from from his vehicle, but um, uh, that was not successful because when the tear gas was blocked, it became a bit chaotic, and and uh, they all you know got into the vehicles and uh, made now the B line uh, to now this part of Islands, and now we are heading to Kamkunji. So Wahiga, we are entering Kamkunji as we speak. Initially, it, it kind of looked like the convoy was headed back to the CBD uh, through Hale Selassie, but now, you know, the convoy has sort of drifted off into Kamkunji. Uh, so this does look like, uh, uh, you know, one of your guesses was correct on that one. Uh, earlier on, you, yes, you know, well, what we, um, we had seen what looked like some sort of conversation between either aides of, of the Azimio leader and the police, which some had wondered, could that yield some sort of truce to allow for you know, the press briefing to take place. I don't know if you caught wind of any of that conversation. Um, when there were those attempts, because when they wanted to address, there was already a crowd gathering. So the police tried uh, to stop to, to stop that. Uh, also, at the same time, there were attempts to actually gain entry to Kenyatta Avenue through that uh, through the, that entire route. And police have erected uh, roadblocks along those along that road. That is why you would see that uh, the convoy left, uh, went towards uh, the road that leads to Upper Hill, and then went down again. Uh, um, it looks like they were approaching um, the CBD from railways, but uh, it was now the journey to Kamkunji to mop up their supporters. And then uh, we, we, we possibly uh, foresee that maybe they will be headed back to town or there will be an address from this end. But this is where we are so far, Wahika. Chamutai Goin, thank you so much. Uh, in one of the, in, 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 a, in a vehicle, of course, following that particular convoy there, and uh, that's why she's speaking to us on phone. But those are live images now just behind the official, the convoy that's carrying as new leader, Rai Laudinga, and other leaders as well. I think I'd also spotted DAPK leader and former CS Eugene Wamalwa, amongst others. Okay, do we want to listen in a little bit to this? Okay. 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 